Alabama was clearly number one on Monday night, but Ohio State may prove to be number one on the first Wednesday of February or maybe shortly thereafter. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We break down the game that we all love each and every day, not just during the season, but 24-7, 365. Please smash the like button. Share these videos out on social media. So if you enjoy our content, certainly other people will as well. And those people that follow you on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media platforms most likely don't know that we're here talking college football every day. Share the videos, please. Subscribe. Hit the bell for the notifications. That way you know when we're going live. Our number one uh, reference to Monday night was, of course, Alabama 52, Ohio State 24 in the national championship game. Our number one reference coming up on the second National Signing Day in February has to do with uh, one defensive end, the number one ranked player, according to the 247 Sports Composite, JT Tui Molowau, 6'4 and a half, 277 pounds, defensive end out of East Catholic High School in Washington. He tweeted on December 16th that his final five are Ohio State, Washington, Oregon, USC, and Alabama. Most believe, the experts, the pundits, the crystal ball prognosticators believe that Ohio State is in control with Alabama running at number two, Washington in strong consideration, USC and Oregon at the back of the pack. Tui Molowau has drawn comparisons to Ohio State uh, defensive lineman Cam Hayward, still a star with the Pittsburgh Steelers in the NFL. He's built a strong relationship with a defensive line coach, Larry Johnson at Ohio State, and JT is friends with G. Scott, wide receiver, with the Buckeyes. Watch the game tape. He's an elite player. Again, the 247 Sports composite number one player, number one according to uh, a number of services uh, in the top five, according to everyone. Oregon, of course, would be an interesting choice because he'd be staying close to home, and Oregon reeled in the number one defensive player in Kayvon Thibodeau two years ago. And again, Washington is the home team. He'd be traveling way across country to play for the Buckeyes or the Crimson Tide. He has not, because of the pandemic, been able to visit any of those campuses except actually Oregon back in September of 2019. Rivals has him graded a 9 out of 10 across the board in regards to all the skill sets and inherent physical qualities. Size, speed, explosion, power, burst, all those things. We understand that even though the second signing period comes up the first Wednesday of February, that JT may sign not until April. He's taking his time. He tweeted one of his buddies just in the last few days that he is taking his time, waiting patiently. JT Tui Molowau out of East Catholic High School in Washington, most likely going to choose the Buckeyes, but the Crimson Tide in hot pursuit. Would love to get your thoughts on his play. Have you seen him in person? Let us know right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. And of course, like, comment, share the videos on social media. And subscribe here for the best in college football discussion, debate, and analysis. That's the goal. That's the aim. That's the mission.